Hi, my name is Micah, and I've been involved with the BERT project since inception in 2004, and I hope you find this video informative. Hello. Today we're going to show an example how you can use the display property using the inline option to have rows go across the page instead of down. To start with, we're going to show what our initial report looks like. This is a fairly typical report with the rows going down that's showing the sales by country within a report. In many cases, BERT report developers want the rows to go across the page instead of down. So how do we go and accomplish that? Um, we're not going to use a table. We are going to use a list instead. And within the detail of the list, we're going to put a grid of a 2x2 two two grid. I have some predefined styles to make this look a little bit nicer. So for the headers, I have a style called grid header. And then for the detail, I have another style called grid detail. And now I am going to drag a label to the top, the first one called country, and now one that says sales. I'm going to bind the list to the same data set that I was using in my table. And now I am going to drag the country into the left side of the grid and the sales onto the right side of the grid. And then on the sales, I, since this is numeric, I like it aligned left, and I'm going to format that number to be a currency uh, with a thousand separator. And let's run this report one more time to look at it. And it pretty much looks similar to what we had before. However, instead of it just having one column header, it's going to have multiple column headers because we're actually having a grid within the list, so that column header will repeat within that list. So what do we have to change to ensure that the rows will go across instead of down? Well, first I'm actually going to change the size of some of these columns. So I'm going to change the width of the column to be one inch and the width of this column to be one inch. And now I am going to change a property on the grid, the display property here on the bottom, instead of block, which is the default, to be inline. And what this will do is it'll fill up the space in line for this list, and so the rows are going to go across. So let's take a quick look at what this looks like. So now the columns are going across, except they're wrapping um, as we're going down because there's not enough space. And the reason this space is limited is because the default uh, layout for BERT reports is fixed layout. So it's fixing it to a page size in case I want to print that. So let's change one more thing in this report. In the root of the report, there's a property called layout preference. And let's change it from fixed layout to auto layout. And let's view this report one more time. And now I see the comms going across, but it's still wrapping. And the interesting thing about auto layout is it's going to auto layout based on the real estate available to me in the browser. So if I resize my browser, note that there's more rows going across. We're going to change one last thing in this report in order to ensure that this will not wrap across the, rep the page in the web browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to change a property on the list of white space. Instead of auto, we're going to say no wrapping. And we're going to run this report one last time. And if you view the report, and now the list is truly going across, there's no wrapping. I could scroll across as I see fit. And this is exactly what I was intending to do in my report. I hope you found this example very informative and hope to see you soon on Bird Exchange. Thank you.